Last week, President Obama announced that uh, he was now officially in favor of gay marriage. Now, I have uh, several points to make on that. Uh, number one, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, now, here's what I mean by that. In 1996, he signed a pledge saying, quote, I favor legalizing same-sex marriages and would fight efforts to prohibit such marriages. Wait a minute. I thought he had a change of position and now was in favor of gay marriage all the way in 2012, not 16 years earlier. Well, it turns out that he was in favor of same-sex marriage, and the White House, after being asked repeatedly about it, said yes, he did fill out, he personally filled out that questionnaire in 1996. And in fact, the Windy City Media Group, which is what it was back then, uh, asking about it in 2004, got this response from President Obama, that it was primarily just a strategic issue when he said at the time that he was for same-sex marriage, and then later, when he was running for national office, said that he was not for same-sex marriage. Now he is for same-sex marriage again. So congratulations to President Obama for flip-flopping to the point where he got back to the position he held 16 years ago. Nonetheless, it is a big moment when a president of the United States of America says that he is personally in favor of gay marriage. Now that leads to the second caveat. The second caveat is he said, I'm personally in favor of it. Now does that mean he's gonna change any uh, policy positions? Apparently not. Now look, a lot of the policy positions he took were already in favor of gay rights. And in fact, again, giving him credit number two here, he's probably been better on gay rights than almost any other progressive issue, right? Uh, now, the flip side to that is there was uh, legislation in, uh, or a rule in front of him where he could uh, say that he could ban discrimination against uh, uh, gay individuals by federal contractors, and he actively chose not to sign that legislation and said that despite the fact that he has this view now, he will still not sign that legislation so federal contractors can still discriminate against gay Americans. And he says it's a states' rights issue. So meaning, look, there's a whole bunch of federal issues that are involved here. Social Security, Medicaid, immigration issues. None of those he will go into. None of the rules on that he will change. He's saying, hey, you know what, if you want to discriminate at the state level, although I personally think they gay marriage rocks, uh, I actually won't interfere with you uh, banning gay marriage. So does it much have, a, have a, much of a policy effect? No, it doesn't. But what's fascinating to me is how politicians change their views based on whichever office they're going for. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. Of course, right? But it, it's not just flip-flopping for political convenience. It's like, well, if I'm going to run for president, well, that's such an important position that I should be more conservative, that I should be, you know, even my positions that I, where I was progressive on, well, no, the country's not ready to be that progressive, so I should make sure that I get rid of those positions, and only after the country has evolved will I evolve. So there's something fascinating about that phenomenon. Hey, partly you could say it's democracy at work when, you know, President Obama got to the point where he sensed that the majority of the country was on his side, then he would change his stance, he did. I guess in a sense that's democracy at work. You know, you hope that our leaders are a little bit more principled, but that hope gets dashed every single time. And then finally, of course, there's the element of what drove this decision. And if you think that uh, fundraising didn't have anything to do with it, well, I'd like to welcome you to America. Okay, because apparently you don't know how this system works at all. Uh, so I've been saying all along, the one issue we will definitely win on as progressives is on gay rights for two reasons. One, the tide of history is with us, indisputably so. And number two, because the money's with us. And within 90 minutes of President Obama changing his position back to being in favor of same-sex marriage, he raised over a million dollars. It's a New York Times article about two weeks ago, where they wrote that he'd been losing a lot of uh, donors on Wall Street, uh, and he was making up for that by reaching out to more gay donors in the corporate world and in the New York metropolitan area. And lo and behold, will you look at that, today he's fundraising in New York and is set to receive a tremendous amount of money from gay donors. 
What a wild coincidence. He had a fundraiser here in LA with George Clooney that was set to make about $12 million. After the announcement, it made $15 million. So the money is pouring in. And money is the Rosetta Stone of politics in America. Find out which side the money's on, more money's on, and you will know which side is going to win an overwhelming majority of the time. So I told you years ago that President Obama would get to the right position on this. It was only a matter of time, because that's where the money is, Lebowski. So now in this case, I like his position. I like that a President of the United States of America has gotten to that position. I would like him to keep going so that it actually has teeth to this and is an actual federal issue, and he actually does some further things about it. Now he has, of course, repealed don't ask, don't tell, but that's not a gay marriage issue. So he's done other great things in terms of gay rights. But, uh, you know, of course, I would like him to get to a position that is for all rights that are equal to other American citizens. And if you raise enough money, believe me, he'll eventually get there.